doing great. Fabulous. We have been over here for about a week and a half, and uh, we started our tour in uh, Winchester, mm -hmm. and we have been thrilled. The audiences have been Excalibur, and we're, we're now up here in um, uh, Birmingham. Mm -hmm. Man, is this city beautiful or what? <laughs> yeah, Birmingham is quite nice, isn't it? Oh, we're having a blast. And you're due so, to be uh, touring, right? Yes. Um, yeah, we've been doing a 25-city tour. Mm -hmm. And it's the Da Vinci Michelangelo Experience. And it's something that you have never seen before. We, have, we go through 146 different pieces of media. We, it's a nonstop multimedia theatrical event. We talk about how they grew up, how they hated each other. <laughs> 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 they were the total opposites of each other. Mm -hmm. And so we're just having a, a blast. What do you want to talk about? I love that. So where are you guys going to be doing this? In the Bloomsbury Theatre, no? Um, no, the Blues are, yes, in London. Yep. Uh, in, for two shows. We have a matinee and an evening. Mm -hmm. And we're going to record. We're so excited. We're going to be recording them Lovely. Uh, vi uh, visually. And it's, uh, ha have you been to the Bloomsbury? Th I have. Theater? It's a beautiful, beautiful venue. Yeah. Is it gorgeous or what? It is. It's beautiful. And you guys, it's on Monday the 30th of September. And you two shows, the, more, the afternoon, the evening, one, one at 2.30 p.m. and one at 7.30 p.m. Now just talk right. us through what we can expect from this kind of show. Okay, what we do is we talk about how the geniuses of the Renaissance, how they had over, uh, like Da Vinci, had over 44,000 drawings. Mm -hmm. They say there's over 2,500 of Da Vinci's designs, inventions, and theories that we use every day in our modern day life. Mm -hmm. And we grew up and we talk about how, what inspired them. You know, you know, these huge, they're not these huge monoliths in the sky. They had people that loved them. They had people that hated them. Mm. They had people that worked against them mm. and worked for them. And what, by the end of the show, we are bringing it all together with our present day geniuses of, of, of Les Paul and Jack Cousteau. We even talk about Paul McCartney. So we, it's just, it's, it's totally unexpected. And it's like, it's, like I said, it's a nonstop a multimedia theatrical event. We talk about every aspect of their lives and how it they apply to our lives. And out of them, which one is your favorite, your personal favorite? Well, you know what, people ask me that all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you know what, I have to learn the bar toward Da Vinci. You know what, because he did everything. He planned parties, mm. he designed clothes, mm. he did sculpting. He did painting. His favorite colors were purple and pink. <laughs> and he would write little vignettes in his notes about what each piece of special clothing meant to him. Mm. Michelangelo's the... T oh, they also said Da Vinci sang beautifully. Mm, so Michelangelo's the total, to complete opposite. He was disheveled suddenly, mm. and he literally slept in his clothes. Mm. And the reason they didn't understand until later, the reason Michelangelo slept in his clothes... Because the next morning when he got up, he was so full of his passion to create, he didn't want to even take time to change his garments. He wanted to wake up and immediately return to his passion. Mm. And re so it's, it's, it's an exciting... The, the, the reason we put this show together, because the more that I found out about these guys, the more I wanted to find out about them. And it was so exciting. It was so enlightening and so inspiring I wanted to tell everybody. <laughs> oh, that's fabulous. And what kind of spoilers can you give us from this show for those of us who are interested but need to be tipped over the edge into buying tickets? Well, we have, we have actual footage from NASA mm -hmm. of one of Da Vinci's inventions. I'm not going to tell you where, or, or what it was. <laughs> These guys had it all figured out. He, he had, um, da Vinci's best friend died at an early age when he was, uh, 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 when he was in, his, in his early 30s. Mm. And he wondered why his best friend passed away. You know, what he, you know what he did? What? He performed an autopsy on his own best friend. Oh, my god. Can you goodness. imagine? That's crazy. Cut him open. Found his heart. And you know what he found out 550 years ago? What? All the arteries going to his friend's heart were clogged. Oh, my gosh. So he theorized what his friend had eaten killed him. Mm. You, know what he, you know what he did? Mm. 
He became a strict vegetarian. Oh my goodness, what off of the back Look of at, that? Yeah, he's one of the original, he was one of the first original vegetarians. Mm, I mean, they have crazy. this, you know, I believe all these inventions that, that, that he did. Mm. I mean, all the things that go into, there's, they say, as I, I may have mentioned this before, but they, there's over 2,500 of Da Vinci's designs, inventions, and theories that we use every day in our modern day life. Mm. Can you it's give us an example of some? But most people just know by the, uh, by the Mona Lisa and the, and, and the Last Supper. Mm. But these guys go on and on and on. And out of the ones that you've done so far, which has been your favorite performance and why? Well, over here, man, you know, we had an incredible response in Winchester. Mm. And I thought, well, it couldn't get any better. Mm. And then we went to Coventry, and, and we had two shows at the Coventry, and they were all those they were even more over the top mm. and then but tonight up in um, uh, birmingham here we're at this uh, town hall oh my god this place is gorgeous it this is probably one of the most beautiful places i've ever played it is. and i just cannot wait you know i did a little uh, study about da vinci michelangelo and you know neither one of them ever made it to britain when they were alive can you imagine that's crazy i uh, know you know what I brought them with me. Though. I was going to say, and so you're bringing them to Britain for them, no? <laughs> well, thank ask you. Ask me so a question about Da Vinci or Michelangelo. Ask, ask me a question. What do you want to know about them? Um, what was the main thing that they may have argued about? Um, well, that's a great question. They were the total opposites of each other. Mm -hmm. He was the. Like I said, Da Vinci was tall and handsome, gregarious, and and he. Uh, was invited to all the parties of the day. And uh, the, the, the royalty, they invite him. Because, you know, Da Vinci designed the original robot. Mm. And he, they would invite him. They say, hey, Leo, come by the parties. But you know those wind-up devices that you design? Mm -hmm. Please bring those with you. And he and would show up and he would use these wind-up devices, the robotics that we call them now, mm. to en enlighten and to mesmerize and to enchant his audience. <laughs> But Michelangelo was the total opposite. Mm. He was, he literally slept in his clothes. That's crazy. So there were these two uh, total icons mm. that were going, one day um, on the street, um, Michelangelo said, about, he, Michelangelo actually painted, but he hated to paint. Mm. He called painting his penance in life. Whatever he had to do to get through the uh, uh, gates of heaven, that's why, that's why he painted. And he actually said, it was, was a direct shot at Da Vinci. He said the, the closest thing that a painting would reflect sculpting, mm. the better that it would be. But Da Vinci was not left out of that argument for one second. One day on, on an earshot, when Da Vinci watched Michelangelo walking by on the street, he, he yelled out, he proclaimed loudly. He said, you know that sculpting thing Bonarotti does? is really a filthy art. <laughs> that constant clang of the hammer against the chisel would be enough to drive one crazy. Mm. And the stone dust would fill your nose and your mouth and your hair is in your ears and your home. Even after Da Vinci died, um, Michelangelo said that that comment on the street had wounded him deeply. Oh, really? Oh, I know. It's amazing. That's incredible. All of this knowledge that you have of these two is just insane. And to put it into a theatrical practice is even more talented. I'm sure a lot of people are really excited to watch this show. So thank you so much for coming on the show and giving us an insight yeah, ten, into what yeah, we just, can expect. Just real quick, ten, year, 10 years ago, when we started out, the actual show was about two hours and 50 minutes. And they said, oh, this is not going to work. You're going to get it down to a Broadway show. And when we took out and we kept in, it is an absolutely nonstop theatrical. It's a monster's idea, monster's inspiration. And we want to invite everybody to come by the Bloomsbury to see us. You'll be blown away. You hear that, guys? You're going to be blown away. So thank you, Mr. Mark Rogers, for coming on the show today and talking me through what we can expect and where we can find you guys. It's been a pleasure, and I look forward to seeing you there. Bye-bye. Ciao, baby.
So that was uh, Mr. Mark Rogers talking us through the Da Vinci Michelangelo experience. It's an awe-inspiring multimedia theatrical event. Uh, Monday the 30th of September at Bloomsbury Theatre. That's 15 Gordon Street, WC1H0AH. So they've got two shows, an afternoon one and an evening one. That's 2.30 and 7.30 p.m. And you can get it online or in the box office. And they're open Monday to Friday, 12 till 5 p.m. for you guys to book your tickets. Now, the next song that I was going to play has already started. It is Did You See by Jay Huss. Let's jump straight back into drive time.